hey guys if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe down below welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be doing a little review on this heat free hair that i have and i'm essentially going to be adding this hair to my hair with it out and doing a very natural ponytail nothing sleek about it i'm just doing a natural ponytail and as you can see i'm using a five clip clip in now this is my first time doing this this way i don't really use clip ins that much so yeah but look how seamless this hair blends with my natural hair oh it is amazing on each section you will just see me just taking out hair from that ponytail on top of my head and adding the clip-ins. Most of the sections I'm using five to four piece clip-ins and then I'll show you what I do in the front. Now, yes, my hair is short. I did recently get it cut. Um, I am on the verge of starting a new natural hair journey correctly this time and healthier this time. But yeah, guys, I am starting over on this journey and I'm going to a natural hair specialist. So far, so good. Um, she's really telling me the ins and outs of my hair and really getting to know my hair all over again in a state that it's in currently. So just a little update on that. But as you can see, it is blending seamlessly with my hair. Like these clippings are so bond. It does form like your natural hair because this is real human hair, right? but it does not tangle as much. I'll just go in and use like Myel or use like any type of products that I have in my supplies. I literally use that on the hair and it's, I'm good to go, I'm good to go. Another thing I really loved about this hair is that this hair is very soft. Heat free hair is so soft, might even be softer than my hair. So you will not be disappointed. So with this one, I did have to stretch it out, so just be aware if your clippings have been like pushed away to the side for a little bit, girl, if you know, then you know. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. If they haven't been pushed to the side a little bit, you might have to like take your hair and take your hand, I mean, and kind of like, you know, brush through it or finger detangle through it or pull it down, stretch it out like I'm doing right here, just to make sure that the hair is not like bulky and make sure it's evenly distributed, things of that nature. All right guys, so we are at the top of my hair. So like I said, I did not add that many clip-ins. What was that, like three, four clip-ins in the back? So we're at the top of my hair and um, I'm just pulling some sections down in the front and I'm really just gonna be adding like a three clip-in piece and maybe like two one-piece clip-ins. Nothing crazy because again, I am pulling this into a natural ponytail. So I want it to look like my hair. I want it to resemble my hair as much as possible. So right here I am just parting away hair just to make it more even and just a little bit more neater when I'm placing the clip in at the very top of my head um, and also so that you won't see the clip in at the very top and I'll show you guys that as well. 
make sure when you do put these clippings in that you are putting it at the how do I explain this? Like at the root of the hair and not on your actual scalp. So you are not pulling out your hair. Like the, yes, you need to hear the clamp noise when you put the clipping in, but it's all about placement. Make sure you're not putting it directly on your scalp because you do not want to pull out your hair. So yeah, guys, this is the back. After I done, you know, pulled down the hair, uniformed it a little bit, and this is the front. Now, it is already looking natural, cute, and as you can see, what I said earlier, you cannot see the clippings at all. And I even pulled the hair up just so you can see that the clippings are not visible in the back. Now, y'all, this is when I struggle. If you're a natural, if you are a for real natural sister, you know the struggle of this. You know the struggle of this. When it comes to having thick, tight four hair, especially, you know what I'm talking about. The struggle was real with getting this ponytail in. <laughs> like y'all, that's when I knew <laughs> I still had to secure this ponytail. So it's like I had to get the hair, all of that hair into my hands. But then on top of that, I had to secure the ponytail. So what I did was I took um, one of my old little headbands i just cut it and then i wrapped it around the ponytail because y'all this was so much hair including with the density of my hair this was a lot but i loved it because i wanted a big poofy ponytail and i wanted to look natural as possible so i'm just wrapping it around like until i get to the very until i don't have that much to wrap around and then i'm going to tie if you can see in the mirror in the background I'm going to tie the two straps together and make a little bow or make a little tie or not and just wrap that around to conceal it and hide that away, not make that visible. And look at natural look how natural this ponytail is, y'all. Look at that. Alright, so now we're at the top. Yay! We're at the top of the hair. And I am just going to be braiding the hair. Now I will be showing you the products I will be using. So this is one of them just to moisturize my strands and then i'll be using this braid gel just to mold it on so that's what i did after i added the design essentials moisturizer i essentially added that gel on top and here i am brushing my flyaways and melting that all in and i really do love that gel i even use this gel on my clients because it stays you do not have to do a lot. You do not have to add a lot of spritz, a lot of got to be glue spray. I mean, you do not have to add a lot. It will stay. It will mold on its own. And I love that about this braid gel. So right here, I'm just going to be rebraiding those two sections that I have previously, but just in a neater format. Nothing crazy. Then I'm going to follow up with some gel and just make sure everything is seamless on my edges. And yeah, guys, that's basically all to this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys took something from it. Like I said, again, please do not, if you are going to use clippings on your hair personally, do not put it directly on your scalp. Also, rule of thumb, I know there's a lot of videos out there saying to sleep with clippings in. Do not do it. Do not sleep with your clippings in. I promise you, you will thank me later. I know it can be a hassle to put all those clippings back into your hair, but don't sleep in with clippings in your head. If anything, unclip all of them. <laughs> unclip all of them so that you will not have tension alopecia when you are sleeping. Just a rule of thumb. Don't tell me that I didn't tell you or warn you. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, more hair tutorials, more hair videos, please leave a comment below. Please leave a comment below in the section, in the comment sections below. And just in case you missed the first time I said it, please go ahead and subscribe. You will love it over here in the Lisi community. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.